Hello, beautiful souls. I'm specifically getting something. I'm also getting that you may be seeing a lot of animal totems. For some of you, your dream state has been extremely active, okay? And this is because your guides are trying to kind of give you some type of guidance and kind of let you know what's about to take place in your life at this time, okay? But there's a highlight here as it pertains to the patterns and the dynamics of your relationships, and I'm picking up on a divine feminine, where this may very well be a very challenging sector of your life, how you relate to and how you connect with other people. But the good news is that you possess this power to create whatever dynamic you choose, and this is solely by tapping into your emotional body and focusing on how you would like to feel. Now, all of this energy is kind of tying into that root chakra energy because this divine feminine that planted this seed is about to really unlock massive abundance, and this is going to take form in your physical reality as financial abundance. Relationships. Okay. Business opportunities. For some of you, you're going to be moving. There's a lot that you are about to unlock, but I feel like this message serves as some type of like spiritual checkpoint for you to be sure that your energy and your emotional body is tied directly to what it is that you wish to bring into your life, instead of which you do not want to bring into your life. And as it pertains to your relationships, that root chakra is all about feeling grounded, feeling balanced, feeling worthy, having that confidence to take up space and to feel as if you are a natural flowing part of this universe, okay? And so this is also the chakra that handles your roots, your core relationships, and where you kind of develop your self-worth here, because your emotional body and how you feel is the direct line to your physical manifestations in this realm, okay? And in life, especially when it comes to relationships, we tend to forget what people said or what people did, but we will never forget how people made us feel. And when you think about it, this is naturally how we categorize the people in our lives. We feel much more open and expressive and authentic around those people that make us feel safe and secure in our authenticity. And when we also think about the people who kind of left the bad taste in our mouths, these are usually the people that made us feel the opposite, okay? We associate these people with lower types of energies. So as you begin to create this next stage, and as the seed is growing, now is the perfect time, especially under the influence of this new moon in Libra, to think about how you would like to feel in this next stage, and especially with these new relationship dynamics that you are drawing towards you. So, connection is all around us, okay? The key here is to think about what's lacking and to set the intention that these connections will be infused with positive energy. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. 